Greetings Adventures, this is Lauren, your Guild Advisor, and we have a new Damachi Season 3 PV that was premiered with the latest Damemo livestream Damemo if you don't play the Damachi mobile game, that, that's what it is, the Damachi mobile game. And it seems they do a lot of Damachi related announcements during those streams. So they showcase a new PV and showcase some of the character designs. I have not seen it yet. I've seen maybe like two screens from it, so it's going to be a fresh experience for me. Besides the fact that I have read the novels that the entirety of Season 3 is going to cover, them being Volumes 9 through 11. But this will be my reaction to it. I'll, I'll of course leave a link to the actual PV itself in the description if you have not yet seen the trailer for yourself. And again, if you want to be spoiler free, don't watch it. <laughs> don't watch the video. And then later on, I'll look at the character designs as well. And I'll, I'll commentate on that. I'm not going to give anything away. Uh, anything away that uh, the PV doesn't already. So I'm not going to like flat out spoil stuff. Because I, I want to make sure you guys don't get spoiled at all. I, I don't want to say anything more than I should. But anyway, enough of that. Let's just get started watching the PV. <laughs> No subs, sorry. Well, that's that's in English. Monsters, the absolute evil. We've seen this part before. The scene with the uh, monster, with the uh, Val and Wiene. This is new. I can't. I can't commentate on what I'm witnessing here. I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, this is a... This is definitely a spoiler-filled trailer if this was subtitled. Holy crap. Regular case. There's... Well... We'll, we'll give out names later in the character designs. That's cute. This is heartwarming stuff. Volume 9 stuff. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good picture. Ooh. They always end, they always end the chairs like that. Always with Bell screaming. <laughs> always Matsoka screaming. Yeah, we're gonna go watch this again and uh, comment in on certain scenes. Dear Lord, like I don't, <laughs> guys, without without context, this probably like the stuff you're seeing probably doesn't mean much. But if this, if the beginning part of this PV was was subtitled, you actually saw it. Like monsters, after evil, that doesn't mean much, right? But if you were to hear what they were saying here, a boy in Canada, I I never figured out how to really say this word, but that that's the kind of like monster that the Wiene is, the the blue the blue monster girl is, who speaks human language. Interesting, right? I, I think it was like I, I can't even try like Vover. I I I looked it up a long time ago when I was first reading these. And and here you, well I guess I can obviously state what's happening here. Vel is for some reason shielding this monster girl in in, in front of his familia. That's what's happening in this picture. Monsters are monsters. That's what I heard Lily say. Bell extending a hand to her. An irregular case arises over the overgirl Norario. This, I like his character. Ikola's some kind of... Like, he looks accurate, but I kind of pictured him differently for some reason. In the moment, I want to highlight coming up. I don't want to fret too long in something else. Interested to see what the full OP sounds like. 
私たちもあなたたちを殺す分かり合えないのでしょうかモンスターのせいで誰かが、うん、Right here Look at this Eyes confronting Bell for some reason Look how angry she is. I don't think she's ever like looked this angry, especially towards Belle. Like this is this is the shift. Like JC staff, like with the anime adaptation, they don't really show eyes having too much emotion. And she definitely does in the light novels. Like it's a lot of like internal emotion that they don't really translate well into definitely sort of Rhetoria. Definitely that. It doesn't really translate well, like hearing her thoughts in the novel, and then they don't really Try to showcase that too much in the actual anime. That's gonna be, uh, whatever that is, that's gonna be hype. If they do it right, what will Bell do in this? Yeah. Season three. Delayed from, from summer to fall because of the pandemic. I I really hope. Yes, uh Friday. I believe it said October 2nd and that, that was just like with season two it's probably the same time slot but oh gosh guys I I really hope that they do a good job with this because as as many of you know if you've watched the channel while season two was happening I wasn't exactly too thrilled with the the adaption especially with how they adapted volume eight because, as you can see, uh, at least as we can see from this PV, there's really not much Volume 8 being displayed here. And this... We'll, we'll, we'll go full cam. And this this is going to adapt three volumes. Volumes 9 through 11, and it's it's one whole big arc as opposed to what Season 2 was, which was the War Game arc, the Pleasure Quarter arc, and then there's some weird, like, 20% of what Volume 8 was. And I don't think we're getting any of Volume 8 here at all. So, again, I am making videos uh, right before Season 3 comes about the stuff, that w the important things that were skipped and changed from War Game. That's one video. Pleasure Quarter Arc, the second video. And then the third video is going to be really weird because I'm basically just going to be summarizing like everything that was skipped in Volume 8 because they only adapted about 20% of the content. And a lot of it is character development of the other characters. And the season two didn't really do a good job of showcasing you, you know, the other characters. Like, Welf suffered the most because he has backstory related to the Kingdom of Rakia, which you see in season two. And that's just completely thrown out the window. And that stuff is actually adapted in the mobile game, Don Memo. So if you have the means, you can check that out. I'll also link a YouTube channel, uh, Mediocre. He uploads a ton of the Don Memo events. And I'll, I think I'll just try to put a link to like the stuff in volume 8 that was skipped in the anime, but they actually adapted into the game with full voice acting. So that's really cool. But let's go ahead and look at the actual character designs. This is the article on Crunchyroll with the character designs, just and just like general news, like the link to the actual video. And uh, first character design is uh, Lido, some uh, lizard looking man. <laughs> I have to be very vague. And I'm, I'm not too sure. Who's Takuma Sakamoto? I have no idea. But uh, that's a character from uh, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. And the voice actor for Lido is Masaki Mizunaka. And... <laughs> you know, I always imagine uh, Lido as, as more like the generic lizard looking boy. Like green. I, it's been a long time since I read Volume 8. And I'm definitely going to be like reading along as season three happens while making videos about it. But maybe he was described as red, but maybe they're just going with red because if he was green, he would look like the generic lizard boy and maybe remind people of like lizard priest from Goblin Slayer. I love, I love this, sm <laughs> this smug look. It's great. It's wonderful. Here's Ray. I love Ray. Uh, I, <laughs> for reasons I, I cannot convey, I cannot say. Uh, but her voice actress will be Yuki Takada, who voices Alba, or who is, who voiced Alba in New Game, which is the main character of New Game. Here's Gross. Uh, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of his of his character design. He looks 
he looks overly simple in my opinion like way too simple like he's not, he's not that detailed at all like i understand like you got to simplify the character design so you can animate stuff easier but he just looks like too simple like like he's not he's not done <laughs> like his character design's not finished that, that's just my opinion it looks like he's voiced by Tetsu Inada, who voices Nappa in Dragon Ball Z. Here's Icarus, who is... Well, I guess I shouldn't say who he is, right? Because they don't say who he is here. He'll be voiced by Jun Fukushima, who... I don't know why they say he voices Ryuk in, in Death Note. Like, that's definitely a notable character from an anime over 10 years ago. Uh, something that makes more sense and you can visualize is Jun voicing Kazuma from Konosuba. So that should be... It's definitely not going to sound like Kazuma based on just how Icarus looks. Like, yeah. Well, maybe... I, I can I can imagine Kazuma's snark with this, with this man. And then here's Dix. Like, I think his character design is on point. Like, this, this is a good one. Voiced by Daisuke Namikawa, who voiced Rock and Black Lagoon. And another anime that's pretty old that most people probably don't know like i i can't visualize rock's voice right now but yeah that's the current pv anime is in like in what about two weeks so very exciting i really hope jc staff pulls all the stops for damachi season three because again i was i wasn't th that happy with how season two turned out unfortunately like def definitely check out the novels if you're Really wanting to get into the Don Machi franchise. But hopefully Season 3 is good. Because I know during the year that JC staff uh, did Don Machi Season 2, they had a lot of things they were taking on. They had they did the One Punch Man Season 2. They did Data Live Season 3. They did a Don Machi movie months before Don Machi Season 2 aired. And they actually said in an interview like at the end of the movie, like, we, yeah, we did have some some uh, struggles transitioning between the two projects and i'm just like then, then why put them so close together but uh with how jc staff has handled railgun t and how it was in the middle of the pandemic and railgun t is is amazing how, how they had adapted it like I, and it has a really good animation as well so hopefully with not as much stuff on their plate at the moment with jc staff like they have shokugeki which is uh, wrapping up right now and with how Shokugeki's been going, uh, the, the animation has not been uh, as impressive as we go down the line in, in Shokugeki no Soma. And I don't think it, it uh, with how uh, they've been animating the anime, it requires too much in the way of impressive animation. So hopefully, Damachi or JC staff put a bunch of their good animators and plan for Damachi Season 3 accordingly. And they do have... Uh, that delay boost from COVID, uh, I say a boost, but again, transitioning to work from home and then getting all that figured out pr is probably a, a big factor in that delay. So who knows if uh, the delay actually helped with uh, how the anime will look. We'll see, because season two ended in fall. And then less than a year later, they were going to do season three of Damachi. So who knows? Hopefully the proper time was put into the project. I I'm really hoping it turns out well, because... As many light novel readers will know, Damachi Season 3, Volumes 9 through 11 is what many say is the best arc in Damachi. I personally like the arc ahead of it just a little tiny bit more, but that just speaks to how good both those arcs are. And I just hope that it turns out well. But anyway, guys, hopefully you're excited. Hopefully those of you that have read the light novels are happy with the character designs. I'm I'm iffy on gross. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys are excited if you haven't read the light novels yet hopefully you're looking forward to what season three has to offer hopefully it's in a better state than what season two was in but those skipped and altered content videos uh regarding season two which means a separate video for war game pleasure quarter arc and the sub volume eight those videos are being worked on the war game video should be releasing tonight it would be <laughs> very generous to say but either tonight or tomorrow because the script's done i gotta edit it voice it and then edit the actual video but look forward to those, and hopefully Don Mighty Season 3 is in a good place. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, especially for Don Machi, go ahead, like the video, sub to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and join the Discord. And as always, this is Lorne, your Guild Advisor, signing out.
今選ぼうその正義を